welcome to another Lewis Art video. Today I'm at, in, uh, I'm at Westwood Ho and um, I've come down on the rocks. The tide's out for a minute. I don't know how long it's going to be out for, but I thought I'd come down and maybe try and get some some rocks in here. The sun is kind of beating down from this side, so there's quite a bit of shade. So it'll be interesting to see what we get today. Um, I'm going to walk on a bit further. Um, I've suddenly become aware that the path is quite narrow and if I put my easel out nobody can walk past me. I hadn't really thought about that so I'm going to see if I can find a spot where I can set up my easel and people can still head past me if they need to. Um, so let's go. So um, this is the sort of thing I was kind of quite interested in possibly. Um, you know a bit of water, the rocks going out to the ocean. The, the light sort of running across it, so there's shade on there as well. But like I said, it's quite isolated on this path. It's quite a single path, so um, can't quite pitch up here. Seagulls over there. Um, beach is fairly busy today. It's all pretty good. Um, so not quite here, but uh, on the right tracks. So I'm going to move on a bit further. Uh, now again, I really love that down through there now i don't know this is interesting it all seems to have been sort of cut, chopped out a bit here the bank's taken away they've put in these concrete steps but it, potentially i could put my easel out there and then look across that way so i wonder if there's a way to get across here without getting wet walking across this seaweed with this easel the camera um my bag is pretty treacherous i'm a little bit worried about it I mean, this stuff is it's like otherworldly, um, these rocks out here. Absolutely love it. But like I said, the problem is I've got to pitch my easel up somewhere, um, but I just love it. Isn't it amazing? Just fantastic. There's just so much of it here. So much of it. Just look at that. And that has really been washed, washed away there and rounded off by the ocean at some point. So I think if I walk across here and along, I can get myself up onto those steps up there. And if I put my easel up there, we can have a look and see what, what we can get across here. Let's go for it. Here we go. Way. Um, oh my God. Now, somehow, I've got to climb up there. Oh, do you know what? If I'd have just walked down the path over the top, I could have literally just stepped off the edge there. Typical. Oh. Um, these, these large cables, they're not live, are they? I do hope not. Oh, get all the way over here, and it's got um, warning, dangerous sight, children must not play. I'm not a child. Well, ah. Uh, and then it's got this one, warning construction site, keep out. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Uh, I've got to find somewhere. Maybe I should just pitch up here. Let's try it. So it's just started to become a bit of a pain, this, because I'm kind of getting lost. But I'm starting to think about this pathway that's running up here, because that's a nice way into the picture in a way. And I also like the water there, getting a bit of reflective light off it and a bit of green in there. Um, and then running down and through. Um, I, I, somewhere around here is probably where I'm going to pitch up. Uh, a couple of lads over there going fishing. Um, it'd be cool to get them in the picture, wouldn't it? Um, but uh, so I, I'm thinking about here somewhere. I'm just going to keep looking a little bit longer, see, see if I can find the, the place. And I'm just off the path as well. If you see, it's like a pathway that runs all the way through. Um, and I'm off that now. So, so in theory, I could get the easel out of here and go for it. But um, just gonna look a little bit longer see what i think see where the best composition is for today so i think it's here and i think there's a few reasons why like i said the path leading up through is really cool there's sort of a cut down across if i raise sort of maybe a bit more of a diagonal tilting into the picture um and in the far distance it's hard to see on the camera i don't know if it's coming out or not but there's a little bit of land over there and a, a gap of the sea in between so i'm going to try and just get that in so um 
thinking about my other paintings, perspective is something that goes wrong a lot of the time and I tend to tilt the pictures quite a lot. So I'm going to try and avoid that today. And what I might also do is just slightly adjust it because I, what I really want to do is get a bit of that in there. So the guys going over there fishing, oh, even Lundy Island in the back. So it's sort of in this area that I'm looking. Um, I'm going to take a photo and set the easel up and I'll show you in a second where I'm setting the easel up and then, uh, and then we'll go for it. So the canvas that I'm using today is an Arteza 8 by 10 inch canvas panel, classic I say, 100% cotton, 8 sound, 8, 100% cotton, 8 ounce primed, blah 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 blah. There's a QR code there for some helpful tips. Hmm. Fussy little thing. Yeah. So I've got my usual setup in the back there, I have my bag. Um, I have my paint um, brush cleaner and thinner. Um, the small pot with a sponge in, I used to sort of just dab a bit of thinner onto the brush. Um, to be fair, I don't use that a great deal. Um, I just read about it as a good idea, but I haven't really used it as much as perhaps I could. I've got my liquid original thinner. I've got my tub for my brushes and um, let's have a look at the paints. Brought the paints out into the light a bit, little bit more. Um, I'm gonna put some yellow ochre on the, onto the, uh, the bottom half of the canvas um, in a minute, just to kind of give that, well, the rock side of things. Um, and then I've got plenty of white, uh, ultramarine blue, um, a little bit of cerulean blue hue, um, some raw umber, and some burnt sienna, and uh, a cadmium yellow, and I'm going to sort of just add an in to it as I go. Um, so it's time to kind of sketch, and today I'm just going to sketch it straight onto the canvas. Okay, so here it is. This is the plan. This is it drawn out. Um, the path is coming down this way. Um, what I'm thinking is, your eye, I don't know if this is actually what it does, but I'm thinking it follows you in here, fades off into there, the path, and then drops down this line here. Now I might drop a fisherman in here somewhere, just so that it runs down in line with this, uh, with the water reflection here in the rocks that I'm going to give that brings you back onto the path. So you kind of swoop in a circle. <clears throat> yeah, that's the theory. I don't know if that's actually going to pan out or not. Now, um, just on this, whilst I'm thinking about it, um, yeah, it's really interesting. Somebody put a comment on saying about my, my panels are too small for tutorials. And I just wanted to say, actually, I don't I didn't, I'm not intentionally doing tutorials. Um, I, I, that's, I didn't think that's what I was doing at all. I thought what I was doing was just documenting my process and um, you either like it or you don't and that's fair enough. But really it was just a case of sort of showing you what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to learn and thinking about the processes. So um, hopefully you don't think these are tutorials because you'd probably be thinking what well, they're pretty naff, but um, hopefully you're sort of picking up some, uh, some ideas or inspiration from these videos and um, yeah that's it for me and I just like connecting with the plain air community I think it's it's pretty cool and I'm I'm sort of enjoying it so yeah I just thought I'd put that out there anyway um let's crack on so uh, and <sighs> So what I'm thinking now as I look out there and you're getting this dark and light bit going in is where do I go first? Um, 
part of me thinks that for me it suits to do the sky first whilst it's light and whilst it's clean and then bring it that into the picture um, so we're getting the blues and things out there first um, and then maybe I'll bring the darks in here and pitch up put the darks in across around the middle I cannot decide what's best to do I've seen painters who do the sky first and work down the canvas and I've seen painters who just take in the darks and then build from there and I, I just can't decide so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put the sky in light and then build in darks here and then build from there and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so it's really hard to see but the sky is in and what I've tried to do is just kind of lighten it up through the middle here and I'm still doing that now with my finger whoops um, and then um, a bit blue around the edges. I think I'm going to add a little bit more in and then I'm going to attack the darks. Attack the darks! Uh, so at this point it's looking something like this. Um, I've kind of blocked in quite a lot there and really that's got to be quite light and reflective so I've gone a little bit wrong on this side I'm going to leave that very plain um, bring in some lights across here now um, so um, slowly but surely I'm kind of working my way along um, trying to get it I think I need to sort of bring it out a bit now with lighter things I'm quite happy with the path um, there is a bit of water that's running in here I tried it once it's gone wrong this is quite dark here could be problematic so it's a f so it's, it's critical now it's critical it's a critical point and it could go anywhere so I think it's time to stop and have a coffee cheers you all right then yeah <laughs> cracking evening so I absolutely love that. I'm just busy painting away here and, I, and it's just up behind me up, up on the uh, on the walkway up the top there I heard someone say oh look an artist and I've turned around and thought where and then oh they're talking about me that's cool um, so do you know I'm trying to keep these brush strokes fairly clean um, to sort of build in uh, the colouring, I don't know what I'm talking about actually to be honest, I'm just waffling. But yeah, so this is what I'm, I'm trying to get in here. Um, just sort of pull out a few bits and pieces. Trying. Oh, do you know what? It's hot out here today. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so interestingly enough, what's happening now is the, the, the light is changing and there's a sort of it's not yellow, but it's a sort of darker, uh, yeah, there's a sort of change to the light and um, I'm struggling a bit to catch that. It's very clean, it's very white. I've got to bring some more dark back in here now because I've gone over the top with it. Um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll build the patch of the dark back in and then see if I can't just really push that light. That's the tricky bit, but I'm going to have a go. Um, and then I think I'm going to probably just call it quits because it's kind of like oh, I've got a bit of green to add in actually seaweed wise that might be quite a nice thing to touch in there as well at some point um, how's it going? I don't know I don't know one minute I thought yeah I got this another minute I'm thinking I have no idea where I am with it so um, oh well uh, keep chipping away keep chipping away So uh, the tide's coming in. I'm going to leave it there. I've kind of, I've pushed it around a bit. Um, had a bit of a go. Some beautiful spray coming off over there now. Uh, we might get to see a bit more of that in a second. But the, so the painting itself, um, it's okay. I'm going to leave it. You know, I risk mucking it up, making it messy. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to come away. Um, I might just snap one more picture just because I took the picture earlier on and the light was different um, and then we'll just we'll, we'll leave it from there so um, thanks for watching um, again uh, you know this is just a process for me I'm learning I'm trying something different um, I'm enjoying just being out and about in the 
fantastic North Devon coast. So um, I hope you enjoyed it too and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos there are a number of ways you can support me in the future. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now you can even donate on my Buy Me A Coffee page. As you can see from my new videos, I love coffee. But your donation will do more than just keep me full of caffeine. Every donation will go straight into buying new art materials for future projects so your help will be truly appreciated. It's easy to use. Simply follow the link and you can donate as little as two pounds to help out. Feel free to leave a comment and there's even a link to my website. Your support really does go a long way to helping me to create more art in the future. Thanks.